So what is the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? The Great Pacific Garbage Patch is essentially a patch of garbage in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is formed by rotating ocean currents called gyres. These vortex-like currents gather debris and plastic to one accumulation area. Now the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is one of five major gyres around the world but is the most known and studied. The debris and plastic gathered in these gyres could cause major problems to the ecosystem. Animals will oftentimes eat the floating pieces of plastic thinking that it's food which will cause them to become very sick. And large animals can be caught in nets and will not be able to escape. Another major problem is that plastic can only photodegrade, which means it can only break down into smaller pieces by sunlight but will never disappear. This is significant because microscopic pieces of plastic in the ocean outnumber the zooplankton 6 to 1, which are the bottom of the food chain. And by harming the bottom of the food chain, you are harming anything that is above it because the small fish that eat the zooplankton will die when they eat the plastic and anything that depends on the small fish for food won't have anything to eat. Plastic is also harmful at a chemical level. Plastic contains harmful chemicals that can disrupt hormones and digestive system if entered the body. These chemicals can enter in a human body when someone eats a contaminated fish from the Great Pacific Garbage Patch or if someone steps on a shard of plastic after a large beach washup. A baseline is a reference point of the past and gives us something to look back on and compare. When a baseline is shifted, it means we lost a reference point of the past and have accepted the current situation. This applies to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch because we have accepted that there's a floating patch of garbage in the middle of our ocean. Because the Great Pacific Garbage Patch can only grow, we have lost this reference point of the past and accepted that it will only become larger. Even though there is no real solution to the plastic already in the patch, scientists have developed new bioplastics that can biodegrade over time, which means plastic can be broken down by bacteria. But the main solution is to prevent the garbage from entering the ocean in the first place. We can do this by recycling and preventing waste from entering in our storm drains. This is a simple solution but will stop the garbage from growing any larger and is the primary